Hi. A lot of us aren't okay right now. A lot of us aren't. A lot of us feel like the world isn't okay right now. A lot of us feel like this country isn't okay right now. Make no mistake about it. It is not okay right now. I'll preface this by saying if you're happy about the results of yesterday's election, I hope you get what you voted for, what you think you voted for. You can go ahead and leave your mountains of comments telling me, cry harder, libtard. You can, you know, tell me that I'm some wokey. Go ahead, and I've heard it all. This video isn't for you. You know it isn't for you by littering my comment section. You are literally wasting your time. I'm tired. We're all tired, right? We were hoping that this election would at least make things a little bit less tiring. But that was very clearly not the end game. I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that there is some way in which we won, because that's not true. The American people spoke. And you're going to hear people say that there was this massive shift to the right, and in comparison to the voting demographics of 2020, yes. But if you actually look at the number of Democrats that voted this round, there are an absolute metric shit ton of people that did not vote. Actually, in general, this election appears to have had a much smaller outcome as far as voter turnout is concerned. I am not some sort of political expert, but I have spent the last four years watching politics streamers, and yesterday was just an absolute avalanche of panic attacks. Obviously, it was my own fault for constantly checking and being wired into social media, but that is what it is. I lost sleep over the matter, and I feel devastated in a lot of different ways. A lot of us are very scared of what's going to come over these next four years. Make no mistake about it. The people surrounding Trump are not going to question him. They're not going to try to talk him down from things. They are going to be Trump's yes-men. If you thought that Trump was going to somehow slow down inflation, you are woefully incorrect. Those tariffs will be passed on to the consumer. If there's one thing we can guarantee that Donald Trump is going to do, out of all the things he says he's going to do, he's going to place those tariffs. I know right now a lot of you don't know what to do. And if you're feeling like this is the end of the road for you, if you're feeling like you need to end your life, please get help. Please reach out to suicide prevention hotlines. I guarantee it. They're probably overstaffed today. <laughs> please look into seeing a therapist. I know I am. If you're sober and you're looking to pick up the bottle or the needle or whatever it is that you were addicted to, now is not the time to relapse. I'm not going to tell you how to cope, but
But I will tell you that relapsing into your addictions is going to be exactly what's going to make your life worse, whether or not Donald Trump is president. Now is the time that we need to start acting on a local level. I'm not kidding. We need to start organizing en masse. We cannot sit back and take this lightly. This is going to be one of the hardest things that we've ever had to go through in American history. And I know that me as, you know, a white guy, I, I get to say that from a position of privilege. But we need, we need to fight like hell now more than ever. See you guys later.